I wonder. <laughs> Freak twerking traumas, not so accidental ear wounds, and what in the world is happening with Lois? Get ready to laugh because today we are breaking down some of the most absurd medical scenes and terrifying injuries from Family Guy number 23. Let's dive right in. Now Brad, if you're gonna play a fat guy on camera, you gotta learn how to do the rope swing. Nice. Okay, let me show you how it's done. Oh! Holy cow, I was not ready for that at all. How does his arms just rip out? Could your arms be ripped out like that? Unlikely, you need a significant amount of force unless there is a defect already where the skin is already like cut wide open. To be able to pull all that connective tissue away is really hard to do. 900,000 views. Wow. So much. That's yeah, great. Hey, can you click on a site for me? Otherwise, I gotta peck it with my nose like a tic-tac-toe chicken. Peter is bandaged up. You actually see it all the way proximal to the shoulders. Unlikely <laughs> that they would have done that. It's really hard sometimes to actually put bandages on certain areas of the body. You see people with funky bandages on their head. They'll actually slide right off, and that's why you actually have to wrap underneath the jaw. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's so dangerous. And we actually see this type of injury come to the emergency department often enough. Sometimes fans, sometimes propellers. In the face, if you get lacerated, a lot of times they bleed like stink, but they actually have pretty good repair as long as there's chunks of tissue not missing. What happened? Ah, uh, I knew you'd catch it. I'm parting my hair on the other side now. Oh my oh, gosh. Peter, thank God you're okay. Hello, bosses and not my family. It's good Peter wakes up and he's able to recognize these individuals, so that's a good sign of good brain function. Sometimes people who get hit in the head, they get something called transient global amnesia, where they can't remember events or they continue to repeat asking questions. Where am I? It does take time for that to go away. You really gave us a scare there. Oh, what do you mean? What? You went into a coma after you were hit in the head by a fan. Oh, it was funny. We induce comas all the time when somebody is super sick and we need to sedate them and put them on a ventilator. If you're just not waking up due to head trauma, typically you don't see that very often. You see somebody gets knocked out and then they slowly wake up. Since the company was paying for your medical care anyway, we fulfilled your letter of medical intent for your sex reassignment surgery. What? They fulfilled what the letter of intent of what Peter wanted, but you need to have consent for all those procedures and go through everything. So they wouldn't do that. Wow. So could that happen? Would that happen? No. People are like, well, I'm going under to have X procedure. Why don't you just do all the other procedures while I'm under? Somebody then is under anesthesia for a lot longer period of time. Your body is then required to also recover from so many different ailments that it actually might overburden the system. Nice. Like mushrooms? Oh my gosh. What you got there? Okay, I'll tell you, but you can't tell anyone. You, are, are, you have to be really cool about this. Yeah, of course. These are mushrooms. It's a psychedelic drug. Makes you see weird things and feel happy for a few hours. They're doing a lot of research to show that could this be helpful in different treatments of, say, like PTSD, anxiety, depression. They're working on it having to do with like safety and guidance and things like that. Well, here we go. Yeah, that's what my friends say too. Well, here we go. Oh, dude, I think I can feel it, too. I'm getting a context high. Okay. <laughs> they use the word contact high in relating to, like, marijuana smoke, right? So it's smoke, and then you're next to it and getting the contact of it. But it's kind of nice for us all to be together like this, huh? Oh, jeez. Psychedelic mushrooms affect multiple different areas of the brain. Frontal cortex, your hypothalamus, it affects like your perception, your senses. I'm gonna cut my ear off oh, to geez. prevent World War II. <gasps> ah! 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 Oh God! Oh God! Cut off his own ear. I was thinking like famous painter that cut off his own ear, Van Gogh. Yes, it could bleed. Is there a lot of blood? Typically proximal, yes. You have cartilage that does not have good blood supply, so it's really hard to repair. Oh my gosh. Could it make you pass out? Yes. Could this psychedelic mushrooms make you pass out? Yes. Yes. I wonder. <laughs> if somebody were to have like ear trauma like that, just make sure that you hold compression to the area, get the bleeding to stop. What the hell are you trying to do, man? 
Those mushrooms are messing you up. She's doing a continuous stitch. So we call that a running stitch. We don't do that as often because if there's any issue relating to the wound itself and you have to cut the stitch out, the integrity of the rest of the suture is gone. Lesbians and deaf women wear the same clothes. Yeah, yeah, they sure do, buddy. All right, just stay calm, Brian. You'll get through this. Sometimes you can have experiences where things go bad. Sometimes experiences go good. That's why they talk about having guided experiences with these psychedelic mushrooms to keep somebody on track versus these bad experiences. I wish everyone was Robin Williams. Oh, geez. When you get electrocuted by lightning, that is direct current. You wouldn't see somebody doing that weird twitching thing. That is a contraction, relaxation, traction, what you would see with alternating current. Boy, that looks enticing. What? Yeah, this is nice. The biggest issues besides muscle breakdown, rhabdomyolysis, kidney failure, electrolyte abnormalities, cardiac arrhythmias leading to ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation leading to cardiac arrest and death. So these are things that you really worry about. Oh my God, what happened? You were in a coma and then I kissed you and you woke up. Stop it. Again, a coma again. Family Guy likes to use coma a lot. He's in what we call a comma. Anyway, all your numbers are normal. What numbers? No idea. Well, congratulations. You're gonna be just fine. Oh. Oh my God, you're, you're Robin Williams. Peter's wearing bandages to his head and to his face. So yes, you can have open wounds due to electrical injuries, burns to the skin. They all need to be managed appropriately. So you can have first degree, second degree, third degree burns, fourth degree burns. What's going here. You gotta check this out. It's Robin Williams. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Nurse of so, does somebody continue to be electrically charged after getting electrocuted? No. But you do know that we develop like static electricity and that's just because of our own charges. A lot of things in our body are related to action potentials and electrical energy. What? What's going on with your face? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, so she got redness, blotchiness, even that left eye's twitching. Look at my eye twitching. Maybe, maybe it's a giant grin, huh? From having triumphed over my former bully. There's a oh. rash forming on the back of your legs. Have any of you ever had a rash that just like formed this fast? Typically the majority of the time we see this as like an allergic reaction, stress reaction, vasodilation where the blood vessels dilate and the skin changes color and gets fluffed. <laughs> Oh, Son of a b Lois, what the hell's going on with you? She, like, turned into I don't something. know. I think C and Stephanie brought back one of my old junior high school panic attacks. <laughs> if you guys find yourself in a situation where you need to take, you know, the edge off and experience some calm vibes, definitely check out Chillax by my company, Life Happens. It'll help you stay calm and balanced for the occasional life stresses. Oh my gosh, so now we see the spine from the opposite side and you see it's like a S curve in the wrong direction. It's like scoliosis, trauma can cause that. Obviously not in this circumstance, it wouldn't happen that fast. Oh my gosh, upper eyelid is twitching into muscle spasm. That could happen with stress. And you can have these different types of systemic effects of stress on the body relating to flushing, rashes, hives. People will get this when they get nervous. You see like blotchiness of somebody's skin. Family Guy, they always have medical topics that we can talk about and things that I deal with on a daily basis in the emergency department. And if you guys ever have concern about your own symptoms, please make sure that you do contact your healthcare provider or get to the urgent care hospital immediately so somebody can at least take a look at you. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here. Make sure you binge watch everything. And please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.